स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न दैट हाउ एन हाइड्रोलिक रैम वर्क्स हाइड्रोलिक रैम इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज हाइड रैम एंड इट इज यूज्ड फॉर रेजिंग वाटर फ्रॉम लोअर हाइट टू हायर हाइट विदाउट यूजिंग एनी पंप और एडिशनल पावर सो इंटरेस्टिंगली द वाटर लिफ्ट्स इटसेल्फ दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंस विद हाइड्रोलिक रैम सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट वर्क्स दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल डायग्राम ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक रैम यू कैन सी दैट देयर इज अ वाटर वेजल व्हिच इज एट लोअर हाइट and it is connected to a system which is having a pressure vessel you can see this is the pressure vessel which is containing air so at the bottom of pressure vessel there is a check valve okay and the pressure vessel is also connected to a delivery pipe you can see that this delivery pipe is ending over higher height compared to that of from where water is initially coming okay now this system is also connected to a waste water valve okay so this waste water valve is of such kind this is the magnified view in case low velocity water is coming to this waste water valve then it can come out without any problem in case the velocity of water is low but in case the velocity of water is sufficiently high then the drag force of water will shut off this waste water valve and no more water can come out so this is how this waste water valve works so with lower velocity of water the water can easily come out through this valve but with higher velocities this waste water valve will lift up and shut off over its seat and no more water can come out and this check valve or pressure vessel is also of such kind that in case pressure inside this system is high then it will lift up and water can go inside the pressure vessel but in case pressure inside this system is low then it will remain in its position and one more thing that this is a non return type of valve means water can go inside the pressure vessel but cannot come back because in case water tries to come back then it will shut off this check valve over its sheet and no more water can go in reverse direction this is the stop valve in case we open it then water starts flowing to this entire system so let's start it suppose this valve is open now what will happen water will start flowing will go inside the system and ultimately reach this waste water valve okay now what happens that initially the velocity of water is low so it can easily come out from this waste water valve but in case we know this thing that gravity is pulling the water down and gravity is nothing but gravitational acceleration it means water is coming with constant acceleration means by and by the velocity of water will increase it's like this so what will happen that in case the velocity of water increases beyond the threshold limit what will happen this waste water valve will shut off and no more water will come out from this waste water valve but water is still having velocity so as momentum so it means the momentum of water what it will do it will produce a hammer effect called as water hammer so that momentum will push this valve and ultimately water will start going inside this pressure vessel compressing the air which is contained inside the pressure valve because air is compressible so what will happen once more initially water is coming to this system and ultimately to this waste water valve so initially the velocity of water is low so it can easily come out from this waste water valve but in case the velocity of water is increasing eventually due to acceleration of gravity so the velocity becomes higher than the threshold value so in that case this waste water valve will shut off will firmly sit over its seat but water is still having momentum is still having velocity so that momentum will push this check valve and water will go inside this pressure vessel pressuring pressurizing the air which is contained inside the pressure vessel so actually what is happening that water is still having kinetic energy that kinetic energy is converting into pressure energy inside the pressure vessel so by and by when the total kinetic energy which is there with the water will convert into pressure energy the water will stop flowing inside the pressure vessel whatever the kinetic energy is been developed is used to pressurize the air inside the pressure vessel so it is acting as a sort of spring or a cushion so the kinetic energy will convert into pressure energy inside the pressure vessel now that pressure will try to push back the water but since this check valve is non return type so it will close shut off this check valve now 
still this pressure vessel is having pressure so the only way to relieve that pressure is to force the water to pass out through this delivery pipe which is ending over higher height compared to that of initially from where water is coming so this is what the principle of hydraulic ram one question might have blinked in your mind that in this case for this hydraulic ram mechanism do law of conservation of energy is followed or violated so i would like to tell you that the law of conservation of energy is still followed in this mechanism how it can it could be clear by this context in hydraulic ram what happens that it is based on the principle that high amount of water at low height can raise low amount of water to higher height because see what is happening in case we are considering no loss of energy then whatever mgh potential energy provided by low height reservoir must be equal to the potential energy raised by high height reservoir so suppose m is the higher mass of water at lower height small h this is capital m stands for higher amount of water uh, which is at a uh, height small h so the total potential energy contained by this low height reservoir would be capital mg small h like this so in case no loss is happening this mgs is first converting into pressure energy and that pressure energy is again converting into uh, potential energy which uh, of water at higher height compared to that of this reservoir at lower height so suppose small m is the amount of water which is raised to higher height capital h so therefore by principle capital mg small h must be equals to small mg capital h therefore m is equals to how much this small m means amount of water which is raised by this hydraulic ram mechanism is equals to g is cancelled out so it is equals to m into small h capital m into small h upon capital h so we can see over here that amount of water that is capital m and h is constant over here so greater this capital h is lesser the amount of mass can be raised so once again hydraulic ram is based upon the principle that high amount of water at lower height is having that much amount of potential energy so that it can raise small amount of water to higher height so law of conservation of energy is not violated in the case of hydraulic ram so hope you would have understood the concept of hydraulic ram thank you